be in Europe, yes? I hope so. <laughs> TV Plus, and it has a great theme. It's produced by DreamWorks, that's Steven Spielberg's company. And uh, I really recommend it to all the young people I see around here, especially today on a Sunday. For my horror fans, I have a fresh, little, low-budget, independent horror movie. Danielle Harris from Halloween is stars with me. It's called Natty, like Natalie. Natty Knox. And it's a great Halloween film. So uh, check it out again uh, this October. No, I did, uh, but I did a television series for uh, a Showtime, and it was called Masters of Horror. But a master, I'm, maybe I'm in the room, but I'm in the room with the real masters. Karloff, Lugosi, uh, uh, Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing. Wes is like the fanboys here. Wes is very smart, very tall. He looked kind of like Don Quixote in the drawings we all see in school but he kept the inner child alive inside. I think if you introduce comedy into a horror film and the audience laughs, you give them an opportunity to laugh, they release that tension that they have from being afraid. And so you can set them up and scare them again. Right, okay, that's Makes nice. it easier. Yeah, it kind of does work, right? So it's like set It gives them a release, them. gives the audience a release. <laughs> and then you can get them and scare them again. Well, I, I certainly think that they're, at any time, that's a great idea for a film. Uh, the prequel to Nightmare on Elm Street. I, I don't know how I would participate, uh, probably a cameo role, but the idea of a prequel, there are some scripts floating around Hollywood, and they've, they've showed slight prequels uh, in the pilot for the television series, Freddy's Nightmares, but I think that there's a huge audience for maybe a film about Freddy's childhood. Already, I've already done a couple of scripts, okay. and uh, th they haven't come to fruition. But I do believe that uh, uh, a film of, of Freddy's childhood would be a good idea. I knew how great the bald, disfigured head looked, and I knew as an actor how cool it would be to reveal that head. I, I think there's some amazing new work out there from Europe, from Japan, from Latin America, and, and, and from the U.S. I wouldn't want to live in a world without Jordan Peele's Get Out. The film is great because it's taken, it's, it's mining, it's digging into a whole new era, the uh, area we're not using, which is individual cultures folk tales. So he, they took an African folk tale and put it into contemporary American with our problems with racism. But think of all the great folk tales, not just Germany and the Brothers Grimm, but think there must be folk tales uh, in Poland and Czechoslovakia and in the Balkans. And, and there must be French fairy tales that you know about, that when you're a child you read about them that are dark, but no one has exploited it yet as a dark little horror film. Right. Uh, I would love you to think that the Freddy makeup is the most difficult makeup I've ever worn. And it takes three and a half hours to be ready. Three and a half hours? 
but I did a more intense makeup in Phantom of the Opera. In the Phantom of the Opera, still got here. Four hours. Quatre. Because of the hair. À cause des cheveux. And because half of my face, Phantom of the Opera, is dead skin of my victims covering my deformity. And because you don't shoot a movie in continuity, we never knew if I had to reveal that or not, so I had to put both layers on. He's the mangler. He's taking some mangler. And five hours. Because I combined age makeup, an old neck, old earlobes, a fake brow, and a big old nose. But then my cheeks, my cheeks, were stretched and they put something on them and I'd let them go and then they had all the wrinkles that you see now. So I don't complain. And then I also did Stranger Things and I couldn't see. So that was a rough makeup. But I was in London, outside of London in a show, Milton Keynes, <laughs> you know the Milton Keynes show. And showmasters, and uh, I was in a pub with one of the actors who played the General Orc in Lord of the Rings. On the set, ready at nine in the morning. Their makeup call was two a.m. So I'm not. I, I can't brag. <laughs> but maybe I've worn makeup longer than anyone else. Freddy, eight movies, the television series, 44 episodes, plus my other makeup roles.